gossip. <laughs> What's up, world? You're tuned into 423 FM. You already know we've got you covered with your daily dose of celebrity drama. Now let's get into it. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the 423. It's been pretty clear for a while now that Kehlani and YG were already broken up, but now it's finally been confirmed and it's all Tory Lane's fault. On Wednesday, Tory posted a set of photos of him in various places, one of them being in a club with Kehlani. I don't think anyone really thought much of it because, I mean, they're not even close to one another, they're just in the same section. But apparently, YG was not happy about it because the very next day, he went onto his Instagram stories to send a subliminal Tory's way. He wrote what Young Thug said, Don't get shot trying to comfort my bitch while we're going through it. I know where y'all live. Black Ops. This could just be a general message toward anyone trying to shoot their shot at Kehlani, but since she was last seen with Tory Lanez, it seems like that's what he was worked up about. Now, already from YG's story, it's safe to assume that him and Kehlani aren't together right now, which he calls going through it, but later that day on Twitter, she hopped on to set the record straight about her relationship status. The singer posted some photos of her own to Instagram, tagging her location, saying that she's in Toronto, and when one fan pointed that out on Twitter, another person replied saying it's because her and Tori are an item. Kehlani retweeted it and clarified what's really going on, saying, Because I keep seeing this, I'm addressing it. Absolutely not. We made a song for my album. I am single and focused. Leave the rumors for poorly paid bloggers. So there you have it, her and Tori are simply working together. But on top of that, this is the first time that she's actually clarified her relationship status since she went public with YG back in September. If you'll recall, in September, the two musicians suddenly became the biggest couple in the world when they went public and started attending events together. They were posting photos together every day, and Kehlani got a lot of people's panties in a bunch when she said their relationship was five years in the making, considering the fact that they had both been with other people throughout those five years. Point is, they were beating us over the head with their relationship and seemed like they were in it for the long haul until a month later in October when YG was caught on video kissing a random girl outside of a nightclub in Los Angeles. YG addressed the video pretty quickly, posting to his Instagram story, writing, I love Kehlani, I would never, and his team issued a statement to the shade room saying it was just a drunken moment where he got carried away, but that's where it's pretty safe to assume the relationship ended. Shortly after that, Kehlani deleted all evidence of YG from her Instagram page, not only removing the photos they had together, but also changing any of the captions she had about him too. So she never directly said anything about it, but since the tail end of October, things were pretty vague on her end as far as her love life goes. She did release a song on November 13th titled You Know Us Up, where she seemingly addressed the relationship with YG, talking about all the problems they had, but admitting she still wants to be Mrs. Jackson, which is YG's real last name. She also mentions on the song that he waited five years to be on the team, which kind of confirms who the song is about. As for YG, he had some people believing that they were still holding on with his random comments under Kehlani's IG pics, saying stuff like mine with a bunch of hard eye emojis, but she would never reply. I actually think she may have blocked him at this point because I specifically remember seeing those thirsty comments from YG as little as a week ago, and now they're gone and he's not following her either. Now that she's actually saying publicly that she's single, it seemed like she's moved past the place of being fed up with his shit but still not giving up, and now she's given up. But clearly, judging from his Instagram story yesterday, YG is still holding out hope. Anyway, I want to know what you guys think about this. Do you think that YG and Kehlani will end up getting back together after he publicly humiliated her a month into their relationship, or is this the end? Leave your thoughts down below in the comments. Subscribe to the 423 for more videos. And if you like this one, just give it a quick thumbs up. That is it for today. I will see you guys next time. Bye.